I just brought mealybugs into my house for the first time. And I'm an idiot. So today, mom and Jack and I decided to go shopping in Dubuque. And of course, when you go shopping in Dubuque, you have to go to Lowe's. It's just the way it is. <laughs> so we stopped at Lowe's and it was actually pretty disappointing. Lowe's still had a pretty good selection of house plants. However, as my mom noticed, the entire back section of the greenhouse was full of new boxes of plants. <laughs> I went a day too early. So in my last Lowe's shopping video, there was a container of succulents at Lowe's that was a little stretched out. But, and I had said, you know, I probably wouldn't get that, you know, at the price that they wanted down there today. I noticed that it was still there and I thought, why not? <laughs> I need something to do this winter. Give me a couple new succulents to, you know, propagate. Have fun with this winter because I live in Wisconsin and probably about two months here we're going to be sitting in quite a hefty amount of snow so so i'll try to insert some footage of me actually looking at this plant last week i honestly want to pay 12.95 for this however if it was ever on clearance i would absolutely get it uh, but there's some firestorm sedums in here i'm not quite sure what these are they might be the Vera Higgins, is it grab to see them? I don't know, grab to something. <laughs> so I looked at it the last time I went shopping and I was like, I saw it today, I'm like, yeah, I'll take it home, why not? So I just grabbed it without looking at it or anything, got it out of the car, walked up to the house with it and went, wait a second, what is on my plant? It's got mealybugs. I just brought mealybugs into my house for the first time. Yeah. Luckily, it never crossed the threshold of my house. And yeah, I'm really frustrated. I'm really frustrated with myself. Just looking at it quickly, I would have never questioned that there might be mealybugs on it. However, once I got home and got a better look at it, there is obviously something going on here and there is some telltale signs that I'll show you here so like I said these are a little disrupted right now because I took everything out of the soil because I wanted to see if there was a full-blown inf infestation infestation down into the roots of this guy so see all these yeah those are mealybugs see that in there yeah that's a mealybug nest. Cool, right? So before I started filming, I had kind of looked over these guys and I had only found one that you could look at and go, or look at with the naked eye and go, yep, that's a mealybug. So if you don't know what mealybugs look like and you're not sure if what is going on on your plant truly is mealybugs or not, so one way to check is to take some 70% isopropyl alcohol, put it on a Q-tip, and then just run the q-tip over the white stuff the white fluffy stuff that you're not sure what it is and if you look at the q-tip your q-tip is going to turn this reddish brown color i did get one you can kind of see on the end of my q-tip here that little red guy is a mealybug or at least it used to be so since there are quite a few succulents here that i'm going to be cleaning off so I'm going to be going through with a Q-tip, dipping it in the isopropyl alcohol, and then I'm going to just be running it over the leaves where I can for sure tell that there are mealybug issues going on and manually kind of get those guys. Then when I go through and get all the stuff that I can see, I'm going to take my handy dandy squirt bottle full of isopropyl alcohol, a little bit of Dawn dish soap, and some water, and I'm going to spray down all of the succulents, the tops, the bottoms, the cracks, the crevices, every little inch of these succulents that I can get at, and we're gonna kill these suckers. So what the alcohol does is it will dissolve the outer coating of the mealybug and kill them. So in areas like the Vera Higgins where it's just tiny little white dots, hit it with the alcohol. We're gonna get to it. Spray the sucker down afterwards, and then he will remain in isolation 
on our outside deck until I see fit to bring him back inside. <laughs> So I'm just going to spray the rubbing alcohol solution down into the down into the leaves to make sure that you get anything. So one nice thing about using the isopropyl alcohol on your house plants and succulents is that it's not going to hurt your plants. Now don't get me wrong, I am absolutely positively not opposed to using chemical warfare when it comes to dealing with houseplant pests. Just, I'm gonna throw that out there. I will use whatever means necessary to get rid of any pests that are in my house. You know, like, but with mealybugs, I feel like alcohol is truly the way to go because A, it's relatively cheap, and B, you can douse your entire plant with it and it will kill mealybugs on contact. So the alcohol will just evaporate off your plants and that's it. Which I know with pets and children, you don't have to worry about any of that chemical residue that is going to be left on your leaves. Alcohol is gone. It evaporates off. And, and if you have a really bad infestation, you can pour it around the base of your plant and let it soak down into the soil and the roots to kill any possible eggs or larvae that are in your soil. If it's a plant that... You really just can't repot into new soil. It's an easy way to take care of it. So now hopefully these guys are mealybug free and they will continue to be that way. <laughs> but I'm still going to leave them out in isolation for a few days just to be on the safe side. Because you don't want to mess around with mealybugs. They can go from 1 to 100 really fast. So hopefully this was helpful to at least one person out there. I hope you never have to deal with mealybugs. But if you do, know that it is treatable. And it is kind of fun to watch the magic of them just disappear into thin air <laughs> with alcohol. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So, okay, so I have to show you this quick. Our dog is a thief. Do you see him back there? <laughs> see him back there? So, Right now, he's playing with a stalk of sweet corn. So he goes over to our neighbor's garden and takes full stalks of sweet corn from their garden. I've never seen a dog steal sweet corn. So he goes over, he steals their sweet corn, then he brings it back here and eats it and leaves the evidence in the yard. Like, hey dude, not cool. But in his defense, the deer did get into their sweet corn the other day, so they did have a lot of corn down. So I'm just going to say that what he was just chewing on was one of them that they knocked down. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs>